On today's video, we're going to be mixing up some venison hamburger. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter with my dad Don Knetter and we're going to grind up some venison hamburger today and we're going to be mixing it with beef suet and I don't know dad what's uh, what are some of the reasons why we use this beef suet with the hamburger the venison ham or the venison uh, meat well for one thing Dave you got this leaned up to where it's just about 100 percent lean so you want to have something that's going to give you a little flavor and a little grease in the pan and beef suet is not a pork product you can make nice burger out of this stuff with the beef suet and you don't have to worry about making a nice lean burger sometimes if you want it. I mean a nice rare burger. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas with pork you want to make sure it's more well done. Yeah. And this uh, pure beef suet comes out of the inside loin on your choice Angus beef. And uh, I have two types here. I have this which is already shaved up good to put into the trim because you don't want big wads of this in your trim because it will plug your average tabletop grinder. Right. So you want to get it nice and small so it will blend in good with this. We'll hand mix it. Put it through the grinder twice through the coarse plate, fairly coarse plate, and uh, it'll make a great grind, you know. Okay. Yeah. Now I went ahead. This is this is the trim off of a deer. Um, a lot of the shank meat, the neck meat, pretty much all the meat that we didn't want to use for steaks. We, uh, we, we took it off the deer. We had it in bigger chunks. But uh, I cut this down a little bit smaller, uh, so it's going to work in the grinder. And what really helped is this was froze, and I was just kind of thawing it out, and it was still kind of crispy. It, it still was really firm as I was cutting it up, and that's going to help us when we put it through the grinder, right? That's right. That's really going to be ideal when we put it through the grinder. Um, so, anyways, it depends on the size grinder you have. Of course, the bigger grinder you have, the bigger chunks you can put in it. Uh, a guy will just have to experiment with that. Again, back to the beef suet, that's got to be kind of small too. This, this is how it was purchased, and it, it was cut down uh, into this bucket prior to this. And, uh, but if you're at all interested in how we got to this point, um, you can go to my channel, Connetters Practical Outdoors. I have a playlist of deer processing, and we start right at the beginning. We start right with gutting the deer, skinning the deer, and then we have a six-part series, which is pretty much my dad, uh, processing the deer. Um, so if you're all interested in uh, processing deer, uh, go to my channel, check out that uh, deer processing playlist, and that'll show you all the steps that led to this point. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this beef suet with our venison. And uh, a normal hamburger ratio that you'd buy in the store is about 80% beef to 20% fat, eh, Dad? Right, that's a good okay. chunk. All right, so that's kind of what we're going to try to go with here. And the way we're going to go about doing that, we'll take four cups of meat to one cup of suet. So that'll give us, you know, four parts meat to one part suet. Add them together, that's five parts. So that's about an 80 to 20% ratio. Sure. So, yeah, if you want to go ahead and show them how to okay, do well. that. And we can just kind of talk about it as we go. Right. Okay, there's one, mm -hmm. two, three. It's not rocket science, you don't have to be perfect, but. Yeah, just to get four. us in the ballpark, right. okay? And then we're going to go with a good uh, solid cup full of this suet. Yeah, if you can get in there, yeah, I can get in there. And, and there's there one. Go. Okay, I'll we'll just go ahead and hand mix it in there so that kind of got a little bit of each going through the grinder later when we drop her through. All right. Okay, now we're gonna perfect. Go. Just yeah. repeat till we're through with our. Yeah. Mm 
guide series grinder from Gander Mall. Yeah, we, we had it cut up small enough where uh, we were able to just go with the, the smallest grinding plate. Uh, so right, right exactly, right into the hamburger size right away. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks great. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Okay, right now we're running it through uh, with kind of a medium sized plate, the uh, like chili meat size plate. So if, uh, if you like your burger uh, chunked up a little bit more, that works good. Or sometimes it's good to run it through this size and then run it through that smaller hamburger size. Sometimes with these smaller uh, household grinders, um, that works pretty good to keep your grinder from getting plugged. Again, depends on the size of the grinder. And what we're doing is we're just running it through here one more time just to mix it up even a little better. A little more consistent. That'll be your finished product. Yeah. Hamburgers or chili, spaghetti sauce, tacos, whatever. Well, now that we're kind of finished with it all, we just got a few crackers here we'll run through. It helps kind of clean the plate up a little bit. Yeah, just uh, just kind of gets a little bit of that meat off there. Obviously, we got to take it apart and clean it up good too. But the yeah. crackers just kind of run that out right. and, uh, and make, make it a little it easier to when you do want to clean it. Absolutely. All right, very good. Okay, so here we are. It's all finished up. This particular batch we ran through the hamburger-sized uh, grinding disc one time. It seemed like it wanted to clog the grinder up a little bit, so we went ahead and we went to the chili-sized. And we ran it through twice, and that, that maybe seemed to work the best uh, for the size that we had chopped up and, and for the size grinder we have. Sure. But uh, that makes a good patty, right? Yes, it makes a great patty. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Yeah, that's what that beef suet does for you. Without that, it just, it just doesn't hold together very well, and it certainly wouldn't hold together in the frying pan. But, uh, that yeah, one. perfect. And one out of this one, it's very little difference really. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I made this card for my dad, it's Joseph and Mary. It says for my very own Saint Hubert, my papa, because he likes hunting. Because Saint Hubert is the patron saint of hunting. Hello, I'm Emily and I'm 12. And I'm Millie and I'm 9. And this is our sister Perry, she's 5. And, and, and today we're going to show you how to make ve way venison burger. Hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. Dave Knetter, my dad, Don Knetter. We are done. Knetter's practical outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.